What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick comparison between the Motorola Moto G Play 2023 and the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Now as always, if you do end up wanting to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description, where we'll be linking to several other videos about each of them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, Let's get into it. So with the Moto G Play 2023, we're getting a 6.5 inch 90Hz IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 270, and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. With the Samsung Galaxy A03s, we're getting a 6.5 inch PLS LCD display with a 720p resolution. This phone also has a 720p resolution, a PPI of 270, and a 20 by 9 aspect ratio as well. So in pretty much every way, these displays are almost completely the same. Both of them again are 6.5 inches, which is definitely a decent size for a phone display. With 20 by 9 aspect ratios, we're also getting pretty tall and narrow form factors, which is going to give you a nice immersive experience in landscape mode, and also a pretty good scrolling experience. And despite only having 720p resolutions, I do think the images look pretty decent for what they are. Again, remember, these are really entry-level devices, so considering that, if you're doing more basic activities like web browsing, social media, and maybe watching the occasional video every now and then, both displays are going to be perfectly fine for that kind of thing. Really the only difference between the two here is that with the Moto G Play, again this phone does have a 90Hz refresh rate, whereas with the A03s, we are are getting a standard 60Hz display. So in general with the Moto G Play, the movement on the screen is going to be a bit faster and smoother, making the phone feel slightly more premium to use. But honestly, in my opinion, this isn't really that big a difference. And again, in pretty much every other way, these displays are about the same. Now for storage, both phones are getting 32GB of internal storage with microSD card expansion, which is honestly too bad in this day and age. At this point in 2023, with things like apps, the system, and just files in general getting larger and larger as time goes on, even for more light to average users, if you're planning on having any decent amount of apps on your phone, keep in mind, on these devices, even with micro SD card expansion, the storage on these phones is going to fill up pretty quickly. Now, to be fair, considering these are really entry-level devices, they're not really meant for heavy use anyway. So if you are someone who really does the bare minimum, maybe you only have a couple apps, and aside from that, just stuff like photos and videos and maybe music that you can easily offload to a micro SD card anyway, then in that case you will at least get by. But in general, if storage is more of a concern for you, then I would definitely consider getting something else. Now for security features, both phones have fingerprint scanners. With the Moto G Play, it's right here on the back. And with the Samsung Galaxy A03s, it's right here on the power key. And in addition to this, the Samsung Galaxy A03s does have face unlock, but the Moto G Play doesn't. Now I feel like this is probably not that big a deal, because I feel like for most people, a fingerprint scanner is going to be perfectly fine. But if you do like face unlock, then definitely keep this in mind. But starting with the Moto G Play, let's give the fingerprint scanner is a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. And now for the Samsung Galaxy A03s. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see there, both fingerprint scanners were real fast and responsive, no issues at all. And again, with the Samsung Galaxy A03s, this phone does have face unlock too. So if you want to use that instead, you always can. But with the Moto G Play, again, this phone does not have face unlock. It only has the fingerprint scanner. Now for the camera setups here, with the Moto G Play, we got a real nice looking hole punch design for the front facing camera. This camera is 5 megapixels. Then on the back, we got a triple camera setup with a 16 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. With the Samsung Galaxy A03s, we got a water drop notch for the front facing camera. This camera is also 5 megapixels. Then on the back, we got another triple camera setup with a 13 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. So in general, as you can see here, feature wise these cameras are pretty much the same. Unfortunately, neither phone has an ultra wide camera, but seeing as they are really entry level devices, I'm not really that surprised either. But again, at least both phones do have macro cameras, so in general, for what they are, the camera setups really aren't bad. And as far as photo quality goes, for what they are, both phones actually do take surprisingly good photos. And sure, of course, they're not going to be nearly as good as a much more expensive device, but for more average casual use, if you're really just taking a couple photos here and there, maybe something for your own memories, something like Snapchat where the quality doesn't even really matter that much, or even the occasional Instagram photo where you really do want things to look nice, no matter what the case may be. Again, for the more average casual user, the camera setups on either phone will be perfectly fine. In between the two, I don't really think there's that much of a difference in photo quality either. And while this may be a little subjective, they're pretty much at the same level. So if you are looking for a more affordable entry-level phone, but you do still want a decent camera that works for normal use, then either phone will get the job done. Now to give you an idea of what they can do, here's some pictures taken with the Moto G Play. Again, definitely good photos here. Sure, if you're really used to taking pictures and maybe you already have a slightly higher end device or maybe a mid-range phone, something like that, then yeah, sure, in that case, these might not be very impressive to you. But in general, I feel like the average person isn't going to look at one 
one of these photos and instantly think it's taken from a bad camera. So overall, again, if you are more of a light, casual user and you just want a camera that can take the occasional nice photo from time to time, but the camera still isn't really a main focus for you, then I do think this phone is going to get the job done just fine. And then here's some pictures taken with the Samsung Galaxy A03s. And again, same kind of thing. I do think these photos are perfectly fine for more normal use and even the occasional Instagram photo here and there. In that kind of situation, for something like that, honestly, you really don't need to spend a thousand dollars on a phone that has a crazy good camera. Unless, of course, taking pictures on your phone is really your thing. Then in that case, of course, go for it. But again, the bottom line here is if you are looking for a more affordable entry-level device, this still does have a really nice, perfectly usable camera. Then again, either phone is going to be just fine. Now for the RAM and processor, with the Moto G Play, we're getting 3GB of RAM with the MediaTek Helio G37 processor. With the Samsung Galaxy A03s, this phone is also getting 3GB of RAM with the MediaTek Helio P35. So in general, for what they are, the performance here is pretty much what you'd expect. Definitely not crazy fast, but for more basic activities, either phone will get the job done. That being said though, between the two, the Samsung Galaxy A03s, while not really being that much faster, is still noticeably faster. So if you are going to be on your phone a little bit more, doing the same basic kind of light activities, but just doing them a bit more often, then in general, you will get a better experience with this phone. But on the other hand, with the Moto G Play, while well, honestly this is a pretty slow phone, for the more light, casual, basic use it's meant for, I do think it still will get the job done just fine. Now I did run benchmark tests on these phones using Geekbench 5, and here are the results I got. So again, between the two, the Samsung Galaxy A03s is a bit faster. So while it's not going to make a huge difference, it's not like the Samsung Galaxy A03s is anywhere near as fast as something like a mid-range phone. If you are going to be using your phone a bit more, you will notice with the A03s, the same activities you might do with the Moto G Play are going to run a bit smoother and things are going to feel a little bit faster in general. But again, if you're really just looking for something basic that works, either phone will get the job done just fine. And I personally haven't had any performance issues with either phone. Now for the batteries, both phones have 5,000 mAh batteries, with the Moto G Play supporting 10 watt fast charging and the Samsung Galaxy A03s supporting 15. Now that difference in fast charging is probably not that important because even with the Moto G Play, in my experience, while it doesn't charge super fast or anything, for what it is, I do think the charging speeds are at least decent. So either way, most people are probably not going to have any issues with that. And as far as the battery size goes, of course, with 5,000 mAh batteries, these are definitely really large batteries. In fact, in the US, it's pretty much the largest battery you can get in a smartphone. So if battery life is more important to you, then either phone is going to be a great choice. And aside from just the battery life per charge, down the road as these batteries degrade, compared to a much smaller battery, the longevity is going to be quite a bit better. So if you like to get one phone and keep it for a while without having to replace it, then either phone is going to be a great choice for that. Now, as far as the software, goes. With the Moto G Play, we are getting Android 12, whereas with the Samsung Galaxy A03s, despite coming with, I think, Android 11 when this phone was originally released, the A03s does currently have Android 13, and knowing how Samsung software support is, you can still expect to get several other major updates in the future. So if having the latest version of Android is important to you, then between the two, I would definitely go with the Samsung Galaxy A03s. That being said, on the other hand though, with the Moto G Play, Android 12 is at least decently newer, and I feel like at this point, Samsungs are really the only phones I've seen in this price range that have Android 13. So even though it is kind of disappointing that a 2023 phone still only has Android 12, it's not really unusual. And in addition to this, just going off of what happened with the Moto G Pure, which is honestly really similar to the Moto G Play, they're basically the same phone for that matter. I am expecting the Moto G Play to eventually get the update to Android 13. I just have no idea when it's going to be. So again, between the two, if you do want Android 13 and just better software support in general, then I would definitely go with the Samsung. But otherwise, if you're not really that concerned about it, then just keep in mind, the Moto G Play is still perfectly fine too. Another thing I do want to point out here is that unfortunately neither phone has NFC, so if you like to use tap and pay, you are going to want to consider something else. Now despite this being a little disappointing, especially with the Moto G Play, seeing as this is a 2023 phone, I'm really not surprised. I mean on one hand at this point, with contactless mobile payment services becoming more and more popular and widely used, more and more affordable phones are starting to get NFC, but so far in the year, in this price range, there's still really only a small handful of phones that have it. So while of course it would have been awesome if the Moto G Play Play 2023 did actually have an FC. Again, I'm not really surprised that it doesn't. But in conclusion, which of these phones is better? In general, I feel like in pretty much every way where there's a difference, the Samsung Galaxy A03s is a better phone. Now, in a lot of ways, these phones are really the same and almost interchangeable for that matter. With stuff like the battery, the display, and the camera, in those areas, you're really not going to notice a significant difference between them. And even with the advantages, with the Samsung Galaxy A03s, it does have Android 13 and better software support in general, and the performance is a little bit better. But again, even in those areas, it's not really like there's a huge night and day kind of difference. So at the end of the day, if you 
are looking for a really affordable entry-level device for more basic activities, then honestly, either phone will be just fine. But of course, if you do want to maximize the value and features you get for the money, then considering I'm expecting these phones to be pretty much the same price no matter what, I would go with the Samsung Galaxy A03s. But honestly, again, the difference is so small that if you get the Moto G Play instead, you're not really going to be missing out on much anyway. But this concludes my comparison between the Motorola Moto G Play 2023 and the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Again, if you want to learn more about either phone individually, definitely check out the description, where I will be linking to several other videos about each of them, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipa's Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.